Hey, this is Teresa at Track Creation 4E, where we explore, experiment, execute effectively. Well, in December 2022, Microsoft announced on Tech Community that the Find Time app will be retired in 2023, since it has been replaced by the Scheduling Poll in Outlook. Now, what is Scheduling Poll? It was inspired by this application, and these applications allow internal and external attendees to vote and propose date and times for upcoming events before you book them. And all the attendees' responses are saved either on a voting page, a dashboard, and for the organizer, it's in the updated email. So. Scheduling Poll is available on Outlook for the web and the new Outlook for Mac, and you should see it for Windows come next year. Now, in this video, I'm gonna just talk about the fine time retirement. You know, what do you need to know? What the, the wins and the what's um, about the retirement? Make sure that you watch the Scheduling Poll tutorial to actually see the features. Now, Find Time was released in 2015 and has had at least two updates since then. So after seven years, Microsoft plans to remove the Find Time app from the Outlook add-in store in May 2023 and end support in July. So they did say all new features and bug fixes will be made to the new version scheduling poll. So don't expect any more updates for Find Time. Now for Find Time um, subscribers, you can continue to use the classic app in Outlook Windows until it is replaced um, next year. And all other platforms, as I had mentioned, the latest version is available right now. Now, if you go between the two versions, you will see a difference between them. Now, Microsoft also reported that the Find Time website, like what you see on my screen, will be deleted come December the 12th. And once the page is deleted, subscribers will be redirected to the dashboard page. Now, if you don't have any existing um, polls out there, you will see a blank page, but nevertheless, they will redirect you to a different page. The only difference between the two apps is it is no longer a separate app. You know, Find Time was something that you had to download and use. It is now part of Outlook under its new name. And second, there are some user interface differences because it is aligned with the Outlook platform. Now, I did go and try to download the app in the Windows version um, yesterday, and I was able to download it, but I could not use it. Um, I wasn't using it prior to um, December. Now, let's talk about some of the limitations with the new feature. So first, let me say, last July, I downloaded the Find Time app for the first time. I did find some serious bugs in it. I reviewed the feedback portal to give, you know, to get familiar with other users' um, requirements. So I asked Microsoft, will these bugs be fixed before rolling in out to, you know, the new scheduling poll? And a Microsoft employee responded back to say that most of the bugs were addressed in scheduling poll, but they but there still are some on backlog. I'm going to review a few of them. Users who has calendar sharing feature enabled you cannot vote on behalf of others. This is a big major flaw in this application, in my opinion. Many had hoped that this would be fixed. At this time, it is still a no-go. I would like to hear from you. How did you get around this? Leave it in the comments, which may help others. Many users also express missing the visual availability with the people icons on the screen. Again, this is a personal preference. Scheduling poll does show the availability, but without the people icons. And the last limitation that I will share, you know, several subscribers ask, 
is keeping the classic find time app an option? And the answer is absolutely no. However, I know that there are some gurus out there that may have some magic by changing their registry. It is never good to mess with the registry. You may impact or corrupt the Outlook's application, which may cause more harm than good. And that's my opinion. Just don't do it. Well, that's all I have today. I encourage you to watch the scheduling poll tutorial for the how to get around. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can stay informed if there are any changes to Find Time Retirement News. 